Well, this morning we've been hearing uh, thoughts and reflections about bringing people of different religions and worldviews together, as well as uh, uh, within the same religion as well. Earlier this week, Patcham High School invited the Dialogue Society to host an event where members of different faith communities presented their thoughts on equality and diversity. The Dialogue Society was set up nearly 20 years ago. Uh, its aim really to advance social cohesion by bringing communities together uh, empowering people to talk and uh, contributing to the development of ideas on dialogue and community building. Well, speakers at Patcham High included an imam who uh, very much inspired the Year 8 pupils about football, uh, a bishop and a rabbi. And 12 and 13-year-old students were also invited to try Noah's pudding. This is a Turkish dessert uh, made with grains, dried fruits, nuts. And uh, the story behind it goes that, that Noah gathered all the remaining foodstuffs to make this this sweet pudding when he and his family left the ark and it's something that the dialogue uh, society do they make this pudding and bring it along for for people to try and um, i went along to meet some of the pupils at patcham high to hear what they thought about the event but first here's hannah kinchin frost who's head of life skills at patcham high explaining why they held the event. Patcham High School isn't very religiously diverse. Although we've got lots of students who are of a faith, it's not very diverse. And so I wanted to bring in faith leaders from our local community so that our children can have a better understanding of the different religions that represent our community. And I think especially because Dialogue Society focused on equality and diversity, the year rates currently are doing a whole scheme of work on who is in our community and how we can all get along and embrace our differences. And so I thought that this opportunity was a really good opportunity that I couldn't miss, really. And I think that the feedback that we got from the students was that it was a beneficial experience for them. They found it interesting. They learnt lots from it. So it's definitely something that we'll continue to do. Well, here's some of what the Year 8 pupils told me afterwards. It was really interesting learning about like the cultural differences and how different but similar all the religions are. When the leaders asked, if they break any rules. Not surprised that they do break a lot of rules every day, even though you're not really meant to. It's a good idea to bring people into like school to talk to people because then it widens their like their knowledge of like other places in the world as well, like where people come from and like what they do. Has it made anyone think any differently about welcoming and perhaps talking to people that they wouldn't normally talk to? Yeah, it like kinda does because when you first meet people like you are scared to talk to them uh, at first but when you get to know them you know that they're like the same as you and you can always like talk to anyone about it. I learned that we're all the same that we don't need to blend in together but we can just like stand out but be one community. With most of my friends none of us really support like a religion but like when you get to know other people it's nice to like talk to them about what they believe and like what other people believe as well. Lots of people around the world would judge someone because of their religion. Like, if you get used to and know this person or that person or whatever, um, you would, like, know they're the same as you. They just believe in something else. It's really fun just to hear about other people and their religions. I think, like the Noah's pudding, the different religions get some, like, getting used to. But after you've got them, they, they, they are really, like, nice pupils from Patcham High School talking to me earlier in the week. Uh, The jury seemed to be uh, out on Noah's pudding, uh, but they were all pretty inspired, I think, by uh, at least something they heard from that talk from people from different faiths. If you want to find out more about the work of the Dialogue Society, they have an email, uh, not an email, they have a website. Uh, It's just www.dialoguesociety, all one word, dot org. Uh,